Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, got a couple projects going on here today. The main one being is I'm going to revisit uh, heat treating these tappets. Uh, got another batch of these I've made. So uh, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to get some stainless tool wrap and wrap these suckers up or try to keep some scale off of them so that there uh, be a little less uh, problem about them not wanting to finish out like I had some of them before that uh, wouldn't clean up. So I'm going to wrap these dudes up. Got the oven heating back there. We'll throw them in the oven. Do the, the heat treat on them. Get them up to temperature. Pull them out. Quench them. Uh, it's, I'm not sure if I'll use oil this time or if I'll just let them air quench. It says you can do either one for this material, so I may just let them air quench this time, make a little less of a mess than what it did last time with the oil. So we got that going. Once it gets to temperature, it's it's cooking there now. Okay, so we got our stainless tool wrap here. And all I'm gonna do is cut some pieces and wrap these tappets up. I guess I'll try these 10 snips. It's an old set of uh, it's like it says Swiss and Sons Newark, New Jersey number nines or steel. Ought to be good ones. Let's see if I've cut this. advised me last time to uh, not leave the door open so much and keep the parts hotter when I do my quench. So I'm going to try that this time and get my gloves on and uh, doil over here and we'll uh, try some of these. Okay.
Okay, since see the oil's about 225 degrees or so, uh, the parts are in the 100 range, sitting there. So we've got a complete quench, didn't overheat the oil. Not sure how the having the wrap on there will affect it. I figure still quenching the oil is going to be faster than doing it out in the air and it says it's okay to do it in the air so we'll uh, see what kind of rock well these suckers are after we temper them and uh, see how we did. Okay so there they are before I put them in to uh, temper them. As you can see we've got a lot less uh, scale on these. Uh, the ones were wrapped up good, did really good. Uh, that one there, obviously must have had a little air getting into it. It's got a little bit on it, but not too bad. That was more like what we had before. One of the ones that didn't clean up. You can see what it was like up in there. Now all these, uh, they look a lot better. Don't see any of that heavy uh, scaling that we had on those others. So as soon as the oven gets down to the proper temperature where we can throw these in, uh, we'll put them in and tamper them. Okay, so I'll try and get you guys where you can see here and uh, maybe hear me without this thing mounted on the machine. So what I got here is a uh, these tappets have been heat treated and tempered. They're about 62 Rockwell right now, so they're pretty hard. And uh, I decided after uh, using up a lot of inserts doing these last time, because the, the edges wouldn't last very long before they'd give it up, that I would get a uh, I think these are PCBNs. Uh, yeah, it's not marked on here, but anyway, this is a this is a kind of metal insert I picked up uh, off eBay for not a lot of money just to try out. It's a CNGM 431, and the grade is KB 5610. And it, what it's got is it, it's actually a little chip breaker even insert and it's got a an edge that's brazed on from here out and I can say that uh, one of the important things about this particular insert I don't know if it's true of all these uh, material types or if it's just this one because it's got the chip breaker is only cut forwards with it do not go back because if you go back you will break it uh, I know because I already did that to one edge earlier uh, trying to back up and put a little chamfer on the end that's a no-no only direction of cut and as long as you're doing that it seems to work pretty good I've had this same insert in here uh, done 10 of these so far so I thought I'd get the camera set up and show you all how this works this thing leaves a fantastic finish on this so let's fire this up and do it
Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, that finish is probably every bit as good as a ground finish on these. Uh, it's good enough that if I put my finger on it, it dulls it out just from the, the oil in my fingers. And see there, dull, shiny. And uh, I mean, it's really smooth feeling. So I'm liking how this is working so far. Check size. Yep, we're good.
I'm right on size. Last one. Right on size again. And those dudes are smooth. There's your close up. So, pretty happy with how this has turned out. I'll probably be doing some more of this in the future. Uh, this will end our work pretty good. Just gotta remember not to back up, only go forwards.
as long as you do that it holds up pretty good like I did uh, did 10 of these on uh, one corner of the insert so the other two I did on the other end before I broke it so hope you like that hope you learned something I know I did and uh, 